Hey guys, welcome back to another video. So today we are going to be doing a mom life realistic messy house clean with me. I have a lot to do today just because one, it was the weekend and I don't like to clean as much on the weekend. I kind of like to do a little bit here and there, but sometimes I get a little lazy. I won't lie. I like to take some naps on the weekend. So um, the house was kind of like really messy in my opinion. Might not be that messy to you, but it was driving me crazy. So Mondays I'm either really lazy and I like to take a nap or I like to clean and get the week ready. So I'm just going to make our bed, start in our room and move on to each and every other room in the house that we need to. I also do vacuum the whole house and you guys will see another how much cat hair and dander we have in this house. It is ridiculous. I just vacuumed like three or four days ago the whole house but I really need to get it done again obviously you'll see at the end just how bad it really was but we're gonna get this room in order and then we'll move on to the next I hope you guys enjoy because I have a lot of cleaning motivation in this video for you You can obviously see where I got this bag from, but I just packed a bunch of extra clothes, soap and everything for our Easter day. We had to go to my grandparents and then we had to go to my in-laws. So we just had a lot of running around to do. I just wanted to make sure that when we were out and about, I had extra of everything so we didn't have to stop at the house. So I have extra clothes, extra pampers. I have baby soap for if they got too dirty and I needed to clean them. I had hair stuff to do Layla's hair when we picked her up. I had to change the clothes for myself. I just had it all in here so I really wanted to bring a big bag just so like we didn't have to make an extra stop I also if you guys saw in my last video you heard that my dryer broke so or the heating element in the dryer broke so that is why all these clothes are hanging here you will also see when I move to the kids room that they have a bunch hanging as well so I'm just putting those away and then the clothes that are actually hanging over the crib were clothes that were in the dryer before it broke and I just haven't put them away so I'm gonna go ahead and do that as well as part of getting this room together and I had a bunch of hangers just everywhere so we're just trying to get it in order so that way when I walk into the room it is not completely messy and it is all clean. I'm not too sure if it's a pregnancy thing because when I was pregnant with my first, the cat that I've been finding in the room, well actually I've been finding both of them in the room, but one of the cats that we have I noticed was always in my room right when I was getting ready to deliver up to like a few weeks and I actually found her in my baby's crib one time. I had everything clean, I had to clean it again, 
but I have been finding them in our room so that's why I am really doing a nice vacuuming in here and I'll show you at the end how much cat hair and dander is just in our room alone and the cats like I said don't really come in here but I've been finding them in our bed whenever I come home I just keep forgetting to close the door I don't know why it's just like not a habit of mine but um yeah I just wanted to make sure that all that cat hair was definitely out of this room especially because my sinuses and it really just bothers me so I do a bunch of vacuuming in here and you guys will see just how much
do say anything So it was around noon and the girls were telling me they were getting pretty hungry so I went ahead and whipped up one of my famous meals that they absolutely love and it should take about 10 minutes to make. So I just grabbed some flour tortillas, some Colby Jack cheese, obviously some sour cream for them to dip it in. Andrea didn't really dip it in hers but Layla did, she loves that. And I just melt it over the stove top and make a little cheese quesadilla for them. They absolutely love this meal, it is so easy and so cheap so if your kids are picky like mine, I would definitely give this one a go. And then I just side it with some blueberries and some strawberries because my kids are obsessed with fruit, which obviously I love. Any parent would love that. So I just wanted to whip them up a very quick lunch. And then I'm actually gonna have some leftovers from Easter yesterday and make it very simple and easy because I am so busy cleaning this day. But Layla ended up devouring her whole plate. As soon as she sat down, she was so hungry. She's the one that was really telling me she wanted some food. And then Andrea didn't eat but maybe one bite at first and then maybe 20 minutes later as I was cleaning up she came over and she devoured the whole thing. So at least she got to eat right before her nap and had a full tummy.
Yesterday I told you I think that we made a mistake Cause you and I we lost our sight It's all about giving So we can make it right Without a fight You know, no, no Imagine what would happen If we did it right So this is basically just the overflow of all the kids toys that don't fit in their room so we have a toy box here we have blocks and everything so when we move out which is actually going to be in five weeks i don't think i've updated you guys on this channel but on my vlog channel i think i have so we're actually moving out in five weeks from i think it's this wednesday so we have a lot to do i have a lot to pack i'm just waiting until the weekend after this weekend because we're celebrating liam's birthday and then I'll go ahead and start packing all this stuff so we don't just have a bunch of boxes laying around and everything. But I just wanted to take all their toys out of their toy box and give it a nice vacuum. Just because it was a little dusty as you can see. And then I wanted to wipe the outside down. I already went through this and threw away a bunch of toys. So everything in here is pretty much just stuff that they play with. Or there's actually some baby toys in here that I'm saving for the new baby. And I just had nowhere else to put them. So... I'm just organizing it and making sure that stuff fits in there properly and it's not compiled on top. So I don't really have too much to throw away. I just really have to organize in this area.
for me It doesn't matter what you're gonna say I just need time right now I'm going alone tonight I don't need nobody else but me But I'm thinking about the way you Layla was luckily being my little helper today. As the pregnancy progresses, you know, it's very hard for me to bend over. And after a few hours of cleaning, I am so wiped out and just so ready to lay down. So with her help in this video and today, it really did help me out. So she loves helping me. She even said that she's like, mommy, I love when I help you clean. And I was like, oh, you can help me clean anytime. So she really had me very happy with helping me today and the, and the pregnancy belly. So I'm very happy that she was in the mood to clean because I was... I don't know if I'd be able to do it myself or if I did I would have taken twice as long today because I probably would have taken so many breaks but she definitely helped this mama out. said it all uh -huh. you know we don't want to fall in love again oh no just think about what we did it never worked no tonight i can tell you you don't care you always know how to get me sentimental you always say the right things like Pushing me away
So here is everything that I got up from vacuuming the entire house, my room, the kids room, or the bathroom. It was just, it's just gross how much cat hair and dander we have in this house and hair from myself and Layla. But I'm gonna wrap this video up for the cleaning portion and then we're gonna move on to a grocery haul that I have for you guys. I, sef I saved it for the ending because I know some people don't really care for grocery hauls. So just stick around if you're interested in that because I have one coming up right after this. Okay guys, grocery haul time. So I'm gonna start over here. I just grabbed some white vinegar for Wimmy Dyer Easter eggs. I got a huge one because we're doing a bunch of Easter eggs, like four dozen. So I also grabbed some bleach because we were completely out. I used that in my last video when I did the washer. I did the deep wash on the washer. It was completely disgusting, so I needed some more. I grabbed a five pound bag of Idaho potatoes, some old fashioned rolled oats. I saw this smoothie that was like banana, peanut butter, honey, rolled oats, so like a breakfast one, and I wanted to try it. So I got some of those. Smart food, popcorn, just white cheddar because Andrea loves popcorn and she was the only one with me and she was completely cranky so I was trying to like keep her distracted and was like, oh, do you want a little snack? We didn't open it, but I let her put some of the stuff in the cart. So that got her a little occupied for a few. I also got some honey gold bite-sized potatoes. I grabbed two of these because usually I'll make a whole bag for like one dinner. So I grabbed two just because I completely forgot to grab these last time. So I like making these. They are very easy and very fast in the oven. I also grabbed some mushrooms for a pork chop meal this week. Some bananas, pears, zucchini. I grabbed three zucchini, one for dinner, or a couple, these are for dinner, not one. All of them are for dinner this week. But um, dinner for this week, I grabbed a big pack of blueberries for some smoothies. Uh, minute rice because I'm going to be making a broccoli uh, cheese casserole for Easter to bring to my grandparents. I grabbed some bacon for a chicken bacon ranch meal that we're going to be doing this week. Diced tomato or diced potato. I can't talk today. Diced potatoes so I can just quickly heat these up over the uh, skillet and serve it with some eggs with the girls in the morning. And Liam, he's been eating at home breakfast a lot lately. He used to eat at school. I grabbed, grabbed some Jimmy Dean pork sausage. I just got the regular kind. I also needed this for my chicken bacon ranch meal. So I just make this like two hours before so it can thicken up a little bit. And then one pack is like perfect amount. So I grabbed an onion. I grabbed cheese whiz for that casserole that I'm making on Easter. Cinnamon rolls I thought was so cute. I found this idea online. I think it was like Facebook or Instagram where you can actually make these look like bunnies. And I'm going to do that for Easter morning. So I thought it was super cute. Grabbed a head of cabbage as always, more mac and cheese cups. I didn't get these the last time because I don't think I did a grocery haul for you guys last week, but I didn't get these last week just because we had one left and the kids were like kind of mm, over it. So, but Liam's been asking for it this week. So I got him some of those for school lunches. I grabbed more of these homestyle Eggo waffles. I grabbed something a little bit different than toast. Hopefully they like this. I just grabbed some English muffins for me and the kids. I grabbed two things of corn for our, I think we're going to be doing steak for another meal this week. Beef broth, I grabbed two tuna, chunk light, just the Starkist brand for Liam and my husband. They both like tuna sandwiches. Broccoli florets for that Easter casserole. I grabbed one juicy juice because we have another one down in the pantry that needs to be open. So we still have enough for the week. I also have an almond breeze vanilla for my smoothies. I grabbed animal smoothies, banana, and strawberry flavor for lunches for the kids this week. We were almost out of cream cheese because we've been eating a lot of bagels. Medium cheddar cheese for that casserole. I grabbed more Capri Suns, just strawberry kiwi. I try and mix up like the, the flavors every once in a while for Liam. I don't try and get like fruit punch every single time. So these are going to be for his lunches and even Layla sometimes has them, you know, randomly because they come with 10. So I usually go grocery shopping once a week. So... I let her have them every once in a while. I grabbed these for myself mainly because I've been really nauseous lately. So if I need like just a little something or I want a little something, I can just suck on this. But I also want to put some of these in my hospital bag for like when I'm in labor and afterwards because I saw, I've been watching a lot of videos and I've seen a lot of women put lollipops in there. So I thought it would be a good idea. I saw this in line and thought it was good because I was waiting in line forever because everybody's Easter shopping two things of bread because we've been going through bread like crazy three 18 packs of eggs because two of these are actually going to be dying and then one is just going to be for like eating throughout the week and then like if you guys saw my last video 
I used my bottle brush to clean out the, the um, dishwasher, not the dishwasher, the washer. So I needed another one of these. It was way overdue anyway. So I grabbed one of these from Walmart. I went to Walmart and Publix because they didn't have everything I needed at both. We're very low, probably down to here. And the last time we went like two days without it and I had to wash the girls with like regular soap and I just didn't like it. So I wanted to get this while I had it in mind. I also grabbed more of my peroxide like always just to have an extra because I'm probably down to here on my one that I'm using now and then I have a whole nother one. But I always like to keep my linen closet stocked up so that way if I forget, I know I have one in there. So whenever I'm just thinking about it, I just grab it. And then I grabbed three of these Equate Moisturizing Hand Sanitizers. I have these right now already and I absolutely love them. So I have one in my purse, one in the car. I actually one in each car and then one in the baby bag. So I just grabbed a couple of these because I'm actually going to be packing my hospital bag probably in the next week or two. And I want to put this in the hospital bag and then another one in my purse since we'll be in the hospital. I also grabbed this for like $1.97 over at Walmart. I thought it was super cute. I'm like obsessed with peaches right now. So I grabbed this for... Probably just a couple things that I'm going to be throwing in my hospital bag. Some mints for my hospital bag. I also grabbed some of this lip balm because I've seen a lot of women say they use a lot of lip balm. I don't personally, but I'm actually, I lost my lip gloss. I don't know where it is. So maybe I'll start using this. I'll probably open it now and then save one for my baby bag and use one now. Another thing for my baby bag is going to be these little shampoo and conditioner. Also, I'm going to put my peroxide in here so I don't have to carry this whole thing with me because I, I wash my night guard every single night with peroxide. So I'm going to put my peroxide in here and then I also need to get like a little container to actually like put it in or I can just bring like a little plastic bowl. And then I have decided to bottle feed. So I just got these Philips Avent anti-colic bottles. I use these with, I think it was Layla because Liam used Tommy Tippy, but I use these with Layla and she was, she was the hardest to find a bottle for. She was like I did try five different bottles. I tried these with Andrea as well, and she seemed to find them okay, but she was so petite that I think the nipple was a little bit too big for her because when we switched to Dr. Brown, she was fine. So I'm just gonna try these with the new baby because this baby is measuring large, so it'll probably be a bigger baby. And um, I just need to buy the nipples for them because these only come with three months plus, and that's gonna be definitely way too fast of a, what is it called? like too fast of the milk coming out for the baby. So I just got these, I'm gonna have to order the other ones online. I actually bought another pack of these like last week. So I have six bottles overall and they are the 11 ounce. So they'll last a while cause babies, you know, they eat like two ounces and then they go up to like three, four, whatever. So um, these will last for a while. So I also grabbed over here pull-ups because I ran out almost I think I have like four left but while I was grocery shopping I just needed to buy pull-ups Andrea was with me and I usually get her Minnie Mouse but she saw and I usually get Huggies but she saw these and she's obsessed with trolls so she was like oh I want Poppy so I got her the Poppy ones and like I said I've been super nauseous so I grabbed these mini cans of ginger ale for myself this seems to be helping me so I grabbed two because I've literally been drinking like one or two a day I also grabbed a pack of Coke because we have a bunch of soda in the back fridge, but we have no more Coke and that's one of my favorites to have like with a lemon wedge. So got that to drink, um, but that is everything that I got for this week. I did not get any meat just because it's Saturday once again, tomorrow's Easter and then Monday I'm not cooking. So Monday night I'll go get my meat. I don't want it to go bad. And then um, yeah, we'll start cooking on Tuesday. So I have a couple days of a break. But that is everything I got. I'm just going to put everything away because it seems to be getting a little warm. Me waiting in line at Walmart for so long and then I had to go to Publix afterwards. So I'm just going to throw it in the freezer and the fridge. I'm so out of breath <laughs> for bringing all these in because I'm the only one home. And Andrea actually fell asleep on the way home. So I just wanted to get this done. But I'm just going to go put this all away and hopefully we can keep it good.